Ivan L. Jamal. Egyptian model, socialite and interior designer. She was the first wife of Sheikh Ahmed al Moktoum, the head of Emirates Airline and one of the richest men in the Middle East. He is the uncle of the ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed. They had an incredible love and luxurious life. However, betrayal, dashed hopes and a broken fate awaited her in the end. How did a perfect romance turn into a nightmare? Why didn't the Sheikh want to recognize their common son? And how did this dramatic story end? Nivin was born into one of Egypt's wealthiest families and grew up in a palace surrounded by luxury. The girl earned a design degree from the prestigious Alexandria University. She never imagined that she would live such a tumultuous life that will be discussed by newspapers and glossy magazines. Nivin was only interested in her profession. One night in Dubai, after sightseeing, the girl decided to have dinner in a Japanese restaurant. Here she met her future husband. The new acquaintance's name was Ahmed bin Said al Maktoum. He is an uncle to the ruler of Dubai Sheikh Mohammed. At that time, Sheikh Ahmed was the richest man in the Middle East. At the moment of meeting Nivin did not even suspect that she had met a billionaire. The man behaved very modestly. They chatted sweetly and exchanged phone numbers. The rest is history. But Nivin had no idea that the sheikh would be so cunning that he would stage the wedding ceremony and then sneakily deceive the bride. But how can you have a fake wedding? One day they were having dinner at a restaurant. Having had too much to drink, Nobu told her friend that the sheikh had a secret wife living in Lebanon. Moreover, she gave birth to a baby girl from him, which Ahmed does not officially recognize. Nivin didn't believe it at first, but later she got a lot of evidence of her fiancé's double life. The sheikh showered Nivin with expensive gifts, but she was adamant in her decision to break off the relationship. Then the sheikh used one last argument. He declared that he had decided to marry the girl officially. And this argument worked on all 100%. The only condition the sheikh set was that the marriage should be conducted according to a simplified Muslim custom. Such a ceremony is called urfi in the Islamic world. When she got pregnant with Ahmed, she wanted to make an announcement to her parents that she is now having a baby. And that's when the problem started. Ahmed never wanted a baby. And so what happened? He disappeared. He is gone. He is gone from her life she was desperate so she took a step she went to dubai but she was not allowed into the palace where ahmed was living she did not see ahmed for a very long time after six months she got a call from ahmed's friend saying that turn on the tv you have some news so she turned the tv on and lo and behold here is ahmed her husband having a marriage with his cousin she tried to reach out to ahmed over and over again eventually ahmed pick up picked up the phone and ahmed said i do not need you nor do i need the child go away so at that time naveen was absolutely devastated she could never talk to him ever again her marriage fell apart her parents did not agree to what was happening but they really had no other choice her bills, her expenses, and for the child expenses, Ahmed is not paying a dime. And this shows how coward he had been all the time. So, Sheikh uh, Ahmed is now absolutely not taking any responsibility. For it to turn out for Naveen, uh, for the uh, betterment of her future and life um, in 2012 Nevin founded a charity named after her uh, son Sheikh Saeed bin Ahmed bin Saeed al Makhthoum to support people in any part of the world who are victims of uh, war or natural disasters and to provide them with medical care in 2019 Sheikh Ahmed married for the third time and had a son Muhammad his first son Saeed is now 15 years old he grew up to be a smart but sickly child when he was two years old doctors discovered he had a rare life-threatening immune disease the disease was overcome in which by the way Sheikh Ahmed helped a lot taking upon himself 
the payment of medical bills. However, during the whole time, he never once talked to his son. And no money can replace a father's love. What do you think about this story? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.